I want to talk about the three C's of nutrition. So what are the three C's? These are the only things that we can discuss when it comes to nutrition. We've got the clock. So this pertains to meal timing and meal frequency. We've got calories, which pertains to the question how much we are eating. And then the content, which is the biggest question in nutrition where, unfortunately, all of us nutrition professionals in the health space tend to be argumentative about what is the best way to do things. But this is very bio-individual. The content of what your dietary plan consists of should be personalized to you. It's based on genetics. It's based on your food preferences and values. Maybe some of you don't eat red meat. Um, Maybe some of you don't like certain foods. Um, It pertains to allergies and food sensitivities. You know, some of us really should avoid things like dairy. What about a clinical condition? If you are celiac, well, you can't have gluten. Uh, If you have a cancer diagnosis, it would be a strong recommendation to reduce sugar intake since cancer cells feed on glucose. So, If weight loss is really your goal, and again, you want to keep your goals in mind. What is my goal? Am I trying to treat a condition or am I trying to lose weight? Am I trying to gain muscle mass? What is my goal? So depending on the goal, um, let's say you're trying to gain muscle. Well, you want to kind of focus maybe more on the clock. Are you eating enough protein in the content and how much you need to be in a caloric surplus? But if you're trying to lose weight, you need to dial down and be in a deficit. You still need to prioritize the protein, but get rid of the junk. Um, and also kind of mind the meal timing. You know, maybe you want to do it around your training schedule. So when you know your goal and you're focused on your goal, you can pull on one of these three sections of uh, our pie chart here. Or you can utilize all three to optimize your goal. And knowing your goal is the having the target and being focused on where you're headed helps you clarify what is right for you. If you are curious about figuring out the calories piece, check out a previous video. It's really important to know where you land personally calorically. It's kind of like trying to follow a map and plug in, you know, plug into Google Maps where you're headed without knowing where you're starting. And some people have been under eating for years, especially ladies that might be watching this. You may have been under eating for a very long time and you've landed in calorically a very low space and now you're struggling to lose weight or you're feeling fluffier. Well, you might need to reverse diet and you might want to check out my video on reverse dieting, which means you need to increase your caloric intake and um, and to, to actually change your body composition. So knowing where you are currently eating calorically and if you are actually maintaining your current weight with what you're doing would be an important thing to know because it's like knowing your starting point on the GPS and then being very clear about your goal and knowing where you're headed is when the, then you can input the right thing into the GPS and, and have a target. Um, so if you have any questions about that, you want a, a personalized plan, you want to go over your genetic profile, I do nutri- nutrigenomics testing, um, we can dial in what you're actually doing and tailor it so that it works for you so that you can hit your target. So please reach out for an initial consultation if that's of interest. And if you want to see more of this type of content, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much and stay healthy, my friends.